Om Shanti, welcome back. Today we are doing the recording of 7th of August, Godly Blessing, where Supreme Father is giving us a very beautiful concept. He is telling us that once we are detached from even the outcome of what we do in service, that's the time we are actually enjoying doing the service and becoming successful in whatsoever we do. Now service over here doesn't mean doing community service, doing service to the society or anything. Service could be a very small thing as in you are helping out somebody in your house, you are doing housework, you are doing the job, you are doing some business or you are doing any kind of another work which is going to help or benefit somebody. So here let's see what does God want us to understand about being a true server. God says may you be a true server and serve with the consciousness of surrender and thereby achieve success. A true server is someone who serves with the consciousness of total surrender. That means I am not going to use my own intellect which could lead me towards ego clashes, towards comparison, criticism, competition or any kind of negative behavior. I am going to surrender my intellect completely to the Supreme Creator the way He wants me to do the service. Now remember we are talking about doing service at home, your small menial work to any kind of other bigger thing. Let there not be the slightest consciousness of mine in service. Where there is the consciousness of mind, there is no success. We might achieve the goal, but in achieving the goal, if you have criticized, complained or put the people other down, then that's not real success because somewhere we compromised. For the financial success, we have compromised the relationships. So relationships have gone down, finances have gone up maybe, most probably. But then relationships, when they go down, this stress are being created. Then that money is being utilized for reducing your stress in your life. Remember the doctors? Yes, that's what we're talking about. So we need harmony in everything. So then God says, when someone thinks this is my work, this is my idea, this is my duty, this is my work, I know it best, this is my idea, I have to do it, it is my duty to do it, you go away from this place or you move away from this place. And then God says, when you do something like this, this consciousness of mind means to have attachment. That means we are attached to even the consequences of that work and to the work. Some people, they are so attached to that work that they have taken the load of that work throughout their life and they are not ready to give up that work and let others move ahead and progress ahead with that work because of the consciousness of mind which is also known as moho or attachments. However, wherever you stay, always have the consciousness I am an instrument and this is not my home but a place for doing service. So this is not my home. It's been given as a gift by the Supreme Creator. I am just here to do service. I am here to maybe cook or help or clean or maintain or do something. So but a place for doing service. By having this consciousness of surrender you will become humble and a conqueror of attachment and achieve success. Otherwise, if I think that this is my place and these things are mine, then obviously I'll have a feeling attached to all of them and my energies are getting drained and I'll be so conscious of these physical things in my life. If something happens to them, a small dent or a scratch, if they're not cleaned up properly, then criticism, complain, putting other people down and that brings my battery down. And this is where we lack in moving ahead in life and God wants us to be detached and still do the same things but still be detached. How do we do that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. You two can come ahead and learn this beautiful art, beautiful consciousness and raise yourself so that you become more lighter in your life and have a balance in all areas of your life with the Om Shanti.